And so no matter what our calling is, we have to patiently endure the hardships and difficulties that might lay ahead of us. وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ Your glad tidings to those who patiently persevere. الَّذِينِ إِذَا صَابَتْهُمْ مُصِيبَةٌ قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهُ رَاجِعُونَ Those who in calamity afflicts them, they say, Verily, we belong to Allah, and unto Him we're all returning. So we're all going back to Allah. We're all going back to Allah. In a way, and at a time that Allah determines. But it is inevitable. We are all going back to Allah. In a way, and at a time that Allah determines. Malcolm went out. Back. His return to Allah was ushered in. The end of his Lifespan was characterized by meeting the assassin's bullet. And he didn't plan that. He planned to build his organizations, to continue to motivate people, organize people. Someone like Khalid bin al Wali, who was out on the battlefield and probably uh, anticipated being martyred, he said, on the battlefield, Shaheed fil Ma'arika. How did Khalid die? He died in laying in his bed with his body covered with wounds. But Allah didn't determine that that's how Khalid is going out. And so we're all going one way or another and probably not the way we anticipated. So Khalid probably anticipated going out a little differently than the way he actually did. Radhi Allahu Anhu. One is Sahabati Ajma'in. But that's the way it is. But however we go out, we should go out struggling. We should go out trying to do something for those less fortunate than ourselves, very intelligently, and not just emotional outbursts that might uh, get us hasten our exit, but might not necessarily lead to something constructive and positive for the world.